Hey, y'all know I'm always talking about how good the Air Force is, but the last thing I want y'all to do is blow it when you get in. So in this video, I'm gonna give you four tips on things to avoid when you join. Number one, I know y'all probably heard this, but in case you haven't, don't do the tech school love. I will walk with you hand in hand wherever this adventure leads us. When you go to basic training, you're gonna be stressed out. And after about seven and a half weeks of being lonely, it's gonna be some things that haven't been nurtured in a while. So you go to tech school, all of a sudden you got some freedom, everybody looking pretty now, they, they don't look like they did in basic training. They got perfume or they got their cologne or whatever. And now there's some love in the air and you being overwhelmed with all these emotions, all these hormones, you may start thinking that that love is actually real. And it very well may be, but nine times out of 10, it ain't. Y'all ain't never lived together. Y'all ain't never smelt each other's poop. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. You don't know how they brush their teeth. You don't know how they eat their food. It's a lot of things you gotta learn about somebody before you marry them. And you just don't have enough time in tech school to figure all that stuff out. Y'all ever watch the movie Serendipity? It's a movie about these two people. They meet each other. Their feelings are strong right away. But, you know, life kind of takes them apart. But they come back to each other later because they were meant to be. So if that tech school love that you go through or that you're going through right now, if it's meant to be, then it'll come back. There's no reason for you to rush it. Y'all listen to your boy. I'm trying to help you. My number two tip, when you actually get to your duty station, I learned this one from an old school dude. You don't shit where you eat, buddy. Basically what he meant was, you don't want a date in your actual workshop. And there's a lot of reasons why. I'm gonna give y'all three reasons why you shouldn't date in your workshop. Let's say things go bad between you and that person, right? And y'all actually work together. You can't just forget about them. You gotta come to work every day and see this person. This could build some toxicity in the workplace and it can make everyone around you uncomfortable when they see all this tension between you and your ex. Number two reason why you shouldn't do it. When y'all first go through that love stage, everyone wanna touch on each other, y'all wanna be all flirtatious. That's nasty at the job. Don't do that, nobody wanna see that. And number three, let's say you break up and now this girl or this dude end up dating somebody else in the workplace. You gotta watch that. You know how sad you're gonna be? Are you okay? You okay? Yeah. That being said, one of my best friends, he met his wife in the workshop, and they've been married for about 12 years now. So you can't have success in this. Once again, like I said about tech school love, it rarely works out. My number three tip. Be careful with your alcohol. Right now, I feel like the fun police because when I was a young airman, we used to have fun. And I didn't want nobody telling me how much I should drink or how much I shouldn't. But my friend who is now a first sergeant says the number one problem she sees with airmen is them getting in trouble for alcohol. How old are you, McLovin? Old enough. Old enough for what? It's a party. Y'all going too hard. Y'all need to calm down because it's not actually the alcohol. It's like what happens after you start drinking. The party or the events that y'all are doing, that's like the fire. And then the alcohol is just setting fuel on that fire. And that's when all the trouble happens. Just be careful. Don't derail your career as early as you started. That'll hurt me to see that. My number four tip, be careful with those predatory car dealerships. You brother, can a brother holler at you? Boy, you spending bucks, 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 big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Love you having, love you having, love you having. For happy, some happy. reason, these people, they set up shop right outside of base or right outside of post, and they prey on young people like you. Because you just got out of basic training, you got some money in your pocket, and you wanna ride something nice, right? You want a charger, that seems to be very popular, or a Subaru or something like that, a car that costs a little bit too much for what you earn. But these predatory dealerships, they'll tell you, hey, I can get you in that car. And they start hitting you with like 84 month loans, 96 month loans at a 20% interest rate. So now this would take that $30,000 car and turn it into like a 50 or $60,000 car over all the year. And if you wanna learn some actual tips on how to purchase a car, I got a video on the screen right now that will help you. But like I always say, I hope this video brought value to you. Stay beautiful, stay classy, and until next time, check me out.